Hey everybody and welcome back again. This is the Complete Denture Base Fracture Repair instructional video for the Complete Dentures 2 course at New York City College of Technology. Once again, this demonstration is done by my friend and colleague Sander Polanco, while the audio is done by me, Oscar Galvis. So let's begin. Before we get into the actual evaluation of a fracture repair, please note that you should be wearing the proper personal protective equipment when working with acrylics. Once the personal protective equipment is on, it's time to evaluate the denture base fracture itself. We need to categorize these fractures, whether they're simple or complex. Simple categorized base fractures are parts that can easily be fit back together, while a complex denture base fracture usually has pieces that are bent or has portions of the denture missing. We begin with a simple, maybe slightly complex maxillary base fracture. This is a common fracture you will see down the midline of the denture. With the two halves of the denture fitting together like a puzzle piece, you can put these pieces together using sticky wax, but be sure to place them in the exact original positions in respect to one another. If not, the denture will not fit upon insertion. Once again, take caution. Wrong placement of the pieces will result in an ill fit. How you put these pieces together will determine the dimensions of the denture. So do not place wax in between the pieces. It will leave a space changing the dimensions. Now this denture can be considered to be slightly complex due to the fact that there are some missing structures on the intaglio surface that may be chipped away during the fracture. When filling those small voids, be careful not to overbuild. If so, the denture will not seat upon insertion. Similar steps are taken with the mandibular base fracture repair. The pieces can be easily placed back together with the use of sticky wax. Once again, be sure that these pieces meet exactly the way they did in their original positions in association to one another. Due to the shape of a mandibular denture, even when putting the pieces together with sticky wax, it can be extremely fragile. This is why the Air Force suggests to use wooden sticks to create cross arch stabilization. This aids when you have the need of fabricating a model in order to perform the fracture repair. When fabricating a model for a fracture repair, it is important to block out any large undercuts with wet paper towel or wet tissue. In dentures that don't have major undercuts on the intaglio surface, just be sure to place a separating medium such as Vaseline before pouring the model. Remember that these dentures are assembled with just sticky wax, so handle with care. Placing these dentures on a vibrator can break the seal of wax and you will need to reposition the denture pieces once again. Remember to create model bases for strength. It's important that these models are strong in order to manipulate them during the repair procedures. Once the models have been fabricated, the dentures come off of the models. Note that it's okay if the dentures break into pieces, they need to be repaired anyway. When the models are freed, paint them with tinfoil substitute in order to prepare them for the acrylic to come. The denture base now needs to be prepared for the repair acrylic. Rough in the areas around the breakage and create a cameo surface finish line. This goes for both sides of the broken halves. Next, you want to create space between the two pieces for the new acrylic. Finally, be sure to create retention cuts on the prepared surfaces. All the previous steps hold true for any type of denture base fracture, whether it's on the mandibular or the maxillary.
the results of a denture-based preparation for a fracture repair are as shown. It's important that the results are evaluated on the fabricated repair model. By putting it on the model, it will show if there's enough space between the two parts and if your retention cuts are large enough. If not, make further adjustments to both sides of the repair. Once all the pieces of the fracture are completely prepared, it's now time to begin mixing and applying the acrylic. Initially, you want to mix your acrylic to achieve the desired consistency. Apply monomer to areas that are going to be receiving the new acrylic. This is important to prevent demarcation lines, which are lines that occur between new and old acrylics. Apply the acrylic to the prepared surfaces. Consistency is key in this step. If the acrylic is too liquidy, it will run all inside the intaglio of the denture. If the acrylic is too thick, it will be too thick to reach the intaglio of the denture. So be sure that the consistency meets the requirements of the task. You can make use of monomer and a tool to contour the repair acrylic in the repair areas. Once the acrylic work is completed, it must go into a pressure pot at 110 degrees Fahrenheit at 15 pounds per square inch of air pressure for 10 minutes. Once the curing is complete and the acrylic has completely polymerized, if separating medium was applied correctly, removal of the denture from the model should happen with minimal effort. Be sure to evaluate the acrylic work itself. Be sure that the acrylic filled all the voids all the way into the intaglio of the denture and that there is no porosity or bubbles. Once the acrylic is verified, you can begin all the finishing steps. You can reference the denture recovery and finishing instructional videos for a full demonstration on how to properly finish and contour a denture. It should be noted that there should be caution taken when finishing an intaglio surface. If you have to finish an intaglio surface, remove only the flash that occurs from the repair. Do not grind into the intaglio surface. There should not be much acrylic on the intaglio anyway. If there is a lot of acrylic underneath the intaglio surface, then the acrylic has leaked from possible movement of the pieces of the fracture. If a large amount of acrylic has entered the intaglio, it can result in the patient having to return for a possible reline procedure. When finishing such a large repair like a maxillary fracture, be sure to use the appropriate burrs to recontour the palatal and lingual contours of the complete dentures. Remember to completely check all gingival margins of the denture. Just because the repair was in one specific area, it does not mean that acrylic did not run or get onto other surfaces.
Once the finishing and contouring of the dentures is complete, you can then move into your pumicing and polishing stages. For a full step-by-step -step procedure, reference the pumicing and polishing video for a full demonstration. A proper denture base fracture repair result will show no lines of demarcation between new and old acrylic, no porosity in the repair acrylic, and the denture pieces properly positioned in association to one another.